Okay, very good afternoon to everyone. Thank you for joining us to our Chai Science Diplomacy Talk. And today we have the great pleasure of having uh, Dr. Per Arne Wikström from the Embassy of Sweden in New Delhi with us. A warm welcome to you, Per Arne. Thank you. Uh, per Arne, I hope you brought your tea, your cup of chai. Yeah, here it is. And we have the same kind, I think the same design by coincidence. Uh, it's more like, I would say, a Swedish design, right? Wouldn't you say? Yeah, a little, a little, a thing you would find at Ikea, of course. Yeah, I was, I was trying not to say the name of the brand, but uh, <laughs> since you are, right. Swe you are Swedish, you have the full right to, of course, also, uh, you know, say where you got your cup from. Now, yeah. uh, the Chai Science Diplomacy Talk is an opportunity for us to go a bit, dig more deeper into the life and work of a science diplomat. And we already have been doing this since last year, uh, this series. And I think it's a very nice format also to get this, uh, a bit more personal with our uh, talk guests. And um, so I'm, I'm very happy that we have now uh, roughly an hour together. And uh, I would like to, to start asking you, Per Arnett, if you could tell us a bit about yourself, your background, um, and how it has led you to uh, the position you're having today as the Science Innovation Counselor at the Embassy of Sweden. Oh, that's a, that's a, of course a, a huge huge question, and uh, and I need to dig uh, deep into my uh, my roots, I guess, uh, from uh, from that. Uh, in general, I would say that I'm I'm a person that uh, always uh, have had an interest in trying to connect uh, with people and connect people, and to make uh, I, I believe it by the idea of one plus one is three. You know, I I think that collaboration is key to a lot of uh, a lot of things and um, uh, I mean so um, but uh, of course a lot of people would have that interest in, in you know getting people together uh, I also have always been curious about the concept of change uh, as, 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 um, as a driver for, for development and, and um, what uh, what can we do in order to uh, make things um, move on uh, faster or with higher quality and things like that so i've actually um, been studying change for many many years i've been a researcher uh, uh, in in business studies with a special specialization on change and uh, change is very close re closely related to innovation so there you have the maybe the reason why i have ended up uh, as a, a, a as someone working on uh, science and innovation, you know, the background from universities as a researcher and also with this interest in, in change and, and uh, innovation. Um, then, of course, uh, I think uh, another aspect of this, why did I end up here uh, at this current position is, of course, uh, you, have to, you have to touch upon India as a place, uh, of course, as well. I, I went here in first time in 1989 uh, uh, as, a, as a young student. Uh, I took a year off. I traveled around the world and I visited uh, India as the first place. And uh, I fell in love with the country. I uh, really enjoyed uh, being here, traveling around. I, I spent most of the time in Rajasthan, Delhi and uh, Varanasi I went to as well, but I, I really liked it and I wanted, I thought it would be nice to come back again. And um, the last few years uh, from the position in Sweden, I've looked at uh, what's going on in India. Uh, and actually, I, 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 I was quite a lot engaged in uh, Sweden-China collaboration 15 years ago, 10, 15 years ago. And because uh, China was booming then in terms of innovation and development and I've seen the same patterns going on in, in India for the past few years. And then when I, I noticed that this position was available in Delhi, I didn't hesitate. I, uh, I just wanted to go here and, uh, and try to collaborate uh, with, uh, with uh, the Indian uh, infrastructure for science and innovation. So, uh, so here I am. Um, there is always also uh, uh, and now the third reason, I guess, why I'm here now, 
is also that um, I have a, a, an in interest in sustainability aspects. You know, the global um, global uh, how how can we save a planet for uh, for our children and uh, for uh, for our families and for for uh, the humankind and and I think this is the place to be uh, if you if you want to work on these questions. Uh, as I said, innovation. This is the place to be if you want to. If you're engaged in these kind of things, in, in innovation, and uh, uh, it's 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 really um, uh, interesting to see how uh, everything is developing here now. But also, of course, there is an um, India itself as a country has got uh, a lot of uh, uh, challenges. Thank you, uh, Perani. Very interesting to know your uh, personal background. Also, uh, you know, coming to India already 1989. So 1989, we know it's like the year before India opened up its its uh, economy, and also you know a lot of changes happened afterwards. So you're maybe you could tell like you're seeing a, a very different India today from that India which you visited uh, as a student, right? Definitely, but it's still uh, it's still the same in one sense. You know, the people are the same. Uh, the food is is better. <laughs> the the food has developed. I think it's 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 wonderful uh, to go to restaurants and places here. And and uh, but the the pe I mean the people are the same, and the culture is there. Uh, of course, when it comes to other aspects of development and things, there is a big difference. Of course, there is. And especially back then, you know, in 89, I wasn't really engaged in, um, what, how can I put it, the, the, infrastructure, the innovation infrastructure in Sweden. Yeah. You know, I was a student yeah. back then. I just wanted to meet and, uh, and see the world. Um, yeah. But uh, I guess it's a huge difference now uh, with, yeah. uh, with this continent opening up for, uh, for the, uh, this uh, crucial uh, development yeah, I think. yeah 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 and and very rapid very rapidly uh, india is, is is developing in in many sectors and you know and uh, similar uh, agenda as we can see in europe with uh, of course a, a green economy uh, yeah. uh, you know a renewable energy and uh, like all these important uh, um, uh, agendas which europe has and which india is sharing and we will come to that also because right now actually the uh, our uh, prime minister the indian prime minister is in europe and he has been visiting the Nordic. I had meetings with the Nordic and also with uh, with uh, with the Swedish Prime Minister, right? Mm. So we will come back to that uh, in 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 a while. But before that, there are just for for us laymen, you know, maybe like some of us are not really uh, acquainted with what is a science innovation counselor at the Swedish Embassy, and you know what work areas do you cover, and you know like just to understand us, how does your day look like? at the embassy? Oh yeah, that's a, a good question. Um, of course, uh, first of all, um, uh, one important thing is, I guess, uh, that I operate on a bilateral national level. So I have a lot of contacts with um, uh, different, um, different stakeholders um, in ministries and uh, departments uh, uh, in India. So I have a I mean, I meet with you guys at Euraxis and uh, and with the European Union offices here, of course. Uh, I also meet with uh, um, other uh, uh, science and innovation uh, councillors. Uh, I have uh, also uh, uh, the, uh, Indian uh, ministries uh, such as DST, Departments of Science and Technology, DBT. Um, I also have Atal Innovation and, uh, and other related uh, organizations. I also have national uh, bodies uh, within the research community that I work uh, towards. So that's one thing that uh, that is important to know. Uh, when it comes to science and innovation, to be a counselor for that in Sweden, it is these two areas that I uh, am responsible for, trying to connect Sweden and India in terms of science and innovation um, to make it easier to for uh, in Swedish and and of course also uh, Indian innovators uh, 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 innovation hubs in each countries uh, and and also startups in, in a way uh, to connect so that's uh, that's what I'm doing I 
I uh, report uh, back home. I report to the Ministry for Enterprise and Innovation. Uh, so, uh, so that's uh, uh, that's uh, who I am reporting to. And Sweden, it's uh, it's also interesting with Sweden as a, it's, I mean, it's, we're a small country, right? So, we we don't have science and innovation officers everywhere. So uh, we are uh, here, and we are in Japan, South Korea, uh, the U.S., Brazil, uh, London. Uh, I always forget one. Of, yeah, China as well. So. So we, we are in seven, seven countries, I think, uh, and um, sometimes we meet as well, of course, and, and uh, talk together and see if we can um, help each other. So connecting is one aspect uh, of what we're doing. Uh, another one uh, is that uh, I, have, uh, I get assignments. Uh, me and my colleague Lina and uh, my colleague Mini, we, we get assignments and then we uh, that can be, for instance, uh, what's going on in India in terms of AI, or what's going on, uh, how did the, uh, the Indian budget look like, in, uh, and how will it affect uh, uh, science and innovation. So I also do reporting. I, I try to um, see what's going on in India. So that, that, that's, another, uh, that, that's another thing. But I would say most of my work is is to uh, is to try to connect our uh, our two countries. That's what I'm focusing a lot. I actually had a meeting uh, just uh, before this uh, meeting. I had a meeting with Office of Principal Scientific Advisor, and we discussed collaboration between our innovation clusters in in our both both our countries. So uh, yeah, so we're we're doing a lot of connecting, I would say, between uh, between uh, Sweden and India. And I, I mean you. Uh, you you know it. I mean, there is so much going on here, uh, so you have to you have to you have to do that. Uh, yeah. Did you see the Did you see the news uh, the other day about uh, was it 100 unicorns uh, yeah. at the moment? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's amazing, right? That's uh, it's 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 huge. Uh, so I. I uh, and, and the develop, especially the development. I think there are 300 unicorns in Europe, about 300 unicorns in uh, in, uh, in 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 Europe. And here we have 100, right? So it's definitely less than in Europe. But the speed of development. Last year they had 40 or 41 unicorns. It's uh, mind blowing, I think. So we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah. So I, I yeah, I think we will have plenty of mapping connecting and uh, you know learning about this uh, country uh, for many years uh, in the future of course yeah i think that there is uh, you know there's a huge scope and especially on the uh, bilateral and as well in the multilateral uh, for as you were mentioning you know you do a lot of connecting with the indian side but you also have the european partners here so it's definitely very exciting times to be here uh, you were yeah. talking about the collaboration already, uh, Per Arne, and uh, you already mentioned that key key point, uh, uh, let's say key areas of cooperation are uh, um, innovation, and you were also talking about sustainability, right? So we know that Sweden is very strong when it comes to innovation. You know, you're like let's say uh, world champs some <laughs> in innovation. You know, you're one of the top countries of innovators, and but you also very much. Um, uh, you know, concerned with uh, the SDGs, you know, that's, I think, one of the important uh, uh, aspects of your work also as, as a science innovation council. So, and, and, and how does it fit all now in the collaboration with India? You know, how do you see that work? Where are the strengths of your collaboration? Where do you think there is much more scope to, to develop? Like, you know, also maybe in terms of sustainability, what do you how do you assess the collaboration mm -hmm. right now between India and Sweden yeah. in those that's also that's also an interesting question. I think that uh, I mean, um, as you also said, the sustainability aspects are crucial. And uh, uh, when I I've been here for one year now, almost no, well, ten months or something, and um, uh, one of the treasures that I have, or the the things that are so make things so much easier, is the partnership that Sweden and India signed in. 2018, and it's a 
It's a strategic uh, partnership on innovation for a sustainable future. That's the name of it. So basically what it does, it, it directs me in a, in, a, in a way here. So I know what to do. And it states different fields of collaboration that we should aim for. Health, for instance, or other related uh, uh, important things, uh, uh, questions. And everything is related to sustainability in one way or another. So I would say when you look at the collaboration between Sweden and India today, there is a, um, because of this partnership, and it's all also been uh, re-evaluated and discussed with the, it's Prime Minister Modi and, and the Swedish Prime Minister, uh, they've looked at this. And, and um, so there is a consensus on how to collaborate uh, between our, uh, our countries. Uh, which also make it so much easier for, for me uh, because it, it, that also helps um, uh, Swedish businesses, for instance. It's, a, it's, a, it's easier for Swedish businesses because of this agreement to, uh, to, to know within which areas do, uh, in, is India interested to collaborate with us uh, as, as, a, as a company. And um, yeah, so, so I would say the collaboration between Sweden and India uh, today is, uh, uh, is uh, up and running. There are so much more to do. Uh, but uh, since we have this uh, agreement, uh, we have a basis to depart from. And it, it makes it, for me, it makes it so much easier to just pick up the phone and, and call uh, one of my colleagues in India. Uh, to say that, okay, you know, we have this part of the partnership. We, maybe we should have a look at that because uh, we need to move on and take the next step here. So, so I would say it's, it's very good. Uh, room for plenty of more activities. We are doing a lot of uh, things at the moment as well. Uh, um, I don't know if, if, we, if we should go into that now, but... Uh, yeah, so so there are a lot of activities going on. Um, yeah, please, within, uh, please. Uh, yeah. That would be very nice to to know. That was actually one of the other uh, questions I wanted to ask you. But let's stay one moment with the uh, current news headlines, which we are hearing here in India and also in Europe. Uh, Prime Minister uh, Modi is on a Europe tour, and he also met with the Nordic uh, Prime Ministers and also uh, with uh, the Swedish Prime Minister. And how? important is that visit would you say from a research innovation uh, perspective like how important is it also for the bilateral cooperation you think a visit now I think it was also um, I don't know maybe the, the second time uh, 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 Modi traveled to, to meet with the Nordics um, uh, I think it's the second yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Indian Nordic so maybe you, you could a bit say something from from your view like how important is India also for, for Sweden when it comes to research innovation collaboration well, the last question you, the, that you asked, I think it's uh, that's uh, obvious. Uh, you have to you have to collaborate with mm -hmm. India uh, in in terms of its uh, importance now, but I think uh, future importance it's, it's crucial. Then again, Sweden is such a small country. We have to reach out. That's what we always do. We, we try to reach out uh, to different um, countries, organizations, companies uh, to. Uh, collaborate I guess that's one of that's probably one of the reasons why we're quite good at innovation because we are open to collaboration and that's uh, you would I'm sure you would get the same answer from our Nordic friends as well my colleagues they would also say the same they're also open to collaboration that's a typical Nordic uh, stance um, also I think uh, talking about the Nordic our Nordic friends is of course that uh, it's interesting to have a, uh, this kind of meeting with the Nordic. Uh, it was an Indo-Nordic summit or a meeting, which is uh, also interesting because that, uh, since we ha we share a lot of the same interests in green transition and uh, you know green questions, all these Nordic countries, and of course it it's um, in in some way it might be easier for India to collaborate with Swe uh, Sweden in a, in this context. It, it's easier to, to work towards one actor, like the Nordic one, than only with one. Then I know also that, uh, and that's also been very uh, 
they've been very clear about that, that the bilateral aspect is, uh, is, uh, is the, the basis of collaboration, of course. But I, I kind of like it that, uh, that we have this Indo-Nordic collaboration because uh, it, it, it makes also uh, the Nordic countries to step up and, and work um, on, that, um, on that level, sort of. We have a lot of collaboration, the Nordic, uh, Nordic countries, of course, but uh, we can always do more in that regards. Uh, for instance, we have a we actually have a collaboration at the moment with uh, uh, Norway, Denmark, and Finland, um, where Sweden is the fourth partner, and and uh, on circular economy, just to illustrate this. Um, so uh, we've had um, uh, discussions in Delhi uh, on policy questions regard uh, uh, in uh, when it comes to circular economy, and we will go together to uh, Pune and to Bangalore to have a. Uh, seminars uh, on this joint seminars so yeah and uh, i don't know uh, the, the the outcome of, of the meeting uh, uh, in copenhagen i don't know what that will be but it, of, of course uh, it's important that they meet and 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 uh, discuss things i i noticed uh, especially the interest in innovation in general uh, as a as something that uh, we're supposed to to uh, you know work on together with India. So I, I was happy uh, when I read that, of course. Thank, thank you, Verne. Uh, I know you, you, you I'm sure there will be a lot more uh, information and deep briefing coming to you uh, after the visit. And uh, But you already said, you know, there's a strong foundation with the strategic partnership and there is, uh, you know, a, a strong uh, sense of cooperation, especially in the Nordic countries. and. Uh, and I think, uh, like India has, you know, has got, uh, established well uh, its cooperation with the Nordic countries and with Sweden, especially. Um, you were talking about that you are good in innovation, right? Uh, yeah. I also said in the beginning that you are really, uh, you know, for, uh, like compared to the size of the country and the the, the number of people living, uh, like worldwide a global ranking, uh, you always see that uh, you know uh, Sweden comes top. You know, it's always in the top when it comes to the uh, most innovative countries. So uh, there's definitely, you know, a, a social cultural reason behind it. Maybe you could uh, a bit share this with us. But also, I would be interested to know, like, uh, so far, which, which project has been the most exciting for you, innovation project? It could be a bilateral one or uh, one you have been working on or, you know, been like, you know, taking care of or like just to give us an idea like how innovative uh, Sweden is. <laughs> My favorite topic, uh, of course, um, let's begin with maybe with uh, why, why, why are we strong uh, on innovation? And then, then I can tell you a little about my latest, uh, uh, what I'm thrilled about when it comes to innovation then. Um, I think that when you look at the, the collaboration with India, uh, Sweden, the Sweden-India collaboration, um, Sweden is often we. Um, so we we foster, of course, a uh, um, creative um, mindset in in Sweden. You're supposed to question things, uh, and you will find it in, in, when you go to school. Uh, you will find it uh, when you finish school and start work. If you're, if you're not questioning things at the workplace, the manager knows that, okay, this person is not someone that I will, you know, put, my, uh, put a bet on for the future. So that's a, that's a big thing. I, I've been to other countries where that's not the case, actually. So in Sweden, you're supposed to question things. The reason is, if you don't question things, you will not find the flaws or the problems, uh, the areas of the, where we can develop. Thing. So I think that's that's one thing that is uh, typical for Sweden and Swedish uh, the Swedish work culture uh, or the Swedish culture in in uh, as in general. When it comes to um, collaboration within this field uh, with innovation with India, I think there are some areas that we are quite similar. So one is uh, uh, definitely. Um, uh, and which is seen through the partnership agreement. So we have we have an idea on uh, Sweden and India want to uh, 
on an institutional level collaborate within uh, innovate, science and innovation. And we have decided together to uh, have this uh, agreement uh, on these specific topics. That's, that's one thing that is very similar, I think. The, um, the, we real, both countries realize that we need to have some sort of fundament or some sort of basis to depart from. So that's, that's, uh, that's one. Another thing, of course, one of the reasons that where we uh, work, uh, where we can work close, uh, or reasons why we work closely is um, that we have spe uh, specific uh, similar industrial needs uh, between the countries. So we have uh, Swedish industries and Indian industries, they want to collaborate. I mean, we have had Swedish companies for, for many, many years, decades in, in India, working together. Um, also, I would, I would also say that we're a bit like, uh, we're a bit same culturally, and you notice it also uh, uh, after having been here now, lived for uh, almost a year, I, I realized that we have, we have some, uh, we have we have really easy to connect on a personal level with uh, people from India. Um, I think one of the reasons might be that we have sort of uh, we we don't want to get into fights, right? We want to we want to uh, discuss and we want to uh, we're more um, we're aiming towards collaboration, even on a personal uh, level. We're not com uh, we don't want confrontation or things like that. Instead, we want to meet and have a, we want everything to be good in the end. And I think that might be, that might be one of the reasons uh, that, that it's so easy to, to collaborate uh, uh, with, uh, with India uh, from a Swedish point of view. We're, we're very similar. Um, and also nature, the idea of uh, nature as a very important part of, of, the li of our lives. Uh, I can also see that here in India. There is a I mean, it's it's interwoven uh, in religion, uh, even in in uh, in India. And and here uh, we also share something. The the um, uh, how can I put it? The the interest in nature, the the care of, of for the nature, and and all that. So that also makes it easier to work on innovation with a country like uh, like India. Um, and then the the other question that you asked me about the what uh, gives me the thrill and and i mean of course it, i could i could easily uh, mention uh, a couple of uh, very large swedish companies that are engaged in innovation processes you know we have a lot of them here we have volvo saab uh, abb sandvik and numerous of them uh, so that's that's one answer i could give you i, I won't i won't give you that because that's not what's gives me the thrill at the moment. I can also mention uh, plenty of small startups and, uh, and uh, companies uh, that have, they have just entered the stock market in Sweden that are also really, really interesting, sustainability driven. I don't want to mention them either. Instead, I was, I mean, if you're interested in change, if you're interested in innovation, you would, you would realize as well that you would have maybe tomorrow I have something else that I would be thrilled about when it comes to innovation. I would say the things that has been thrilling the last few months is when I go to say Bangalore and I, I visit, um, I visited um, um, uh, IIM in Bangalore. Uh, I, I, um, was, uh, I was meeting with um, uh, Professor Rishi Kesha there and um, I was one hour early. Uh, so I, I did a tour around the university campus. It's a beautiful place though. Uh, and then uh, I, I saw this sign where it said yeah, entrepreneurial office or something. I went in there curious and I uh, realized that I, I entered a, a place that looked exactly the same uh, as the kind of environments you would find in Sweden where you have young entrepreneurs innovators trying uh, you know experimenting with their ideas to see if this will be an, uh, an idea that might be a patent or a company and that's uh, I uh, that, those kind of meetings I've had I had several of them I've had them in Chandigarh I've had them in in Delhi I've had them in Pune I've had them in Bangalore so you, and uh, you meet with young uh, 
all, almost nerdy, you know, they're a bit nerdy, these people, uh, especially if it's uh, IT, uh, and they're just burning of energy, and they just want to make things better for, for different reasons, with um, aiming towards uh, different people. That's what gets uh, me thrilled, to meet these people. The last meeting I had, latest one, was in Chandigarh. Uh, they had some uh, AI solution that would help uh, a cure uh, or to diagnose uh, very serious uh, damages to the brain and uh, also uh, propose uh, different cures too. So, um, uh, and, and you know, when I, and when I go to these places, I, I stumble out there and I just realize that, okay, this is, first of all, this is the place to be at the moment. And, and then I have so much belief and hope for the future when you meet these young people. So uh, I will not talk about the large companies. I wouldn't even talk about the, 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 the startups. I would, I would rather focus on the, the, these uh, young people mm. at the different uh, universities or institutes uh, uh, that will, they, these guys, they, these are the guys that will save us eventually from the global warning and, and other things. So yeah, so that's, that's my uh, take on that one. Well, wow, thank you so much. Uh, that's, of course, a very interesting uh, uh, insight you gave, like, you know, what really thrills you is those grassroots entrepreneurs, these grassroots innovators, you know, and India has a large spirit of entrepreneurship and innovation and similar to, to Sweden as well, you know, uh, always solution orientated, uh, always trying to find, you know, new novel ways of, 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 of you know, improving uh, the situations in life. Um, and you were also saying, uh, Per Arne, that um, that what um, that what what really thrills you is this, uh, you know, startups, uh, this young um, Indian students, researchers who are keen to make an impact, you know, to to make a change, and 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 that's uh, more thrilling than to you know go to these big companies, which are also, of course, doing a, a, a great work, but. Um, in, in terms of um, now the road ahead, right? If we look into the future, do you see that there is maybe a, a, a paradigm shift? Do we see a shift towards Asia more? Like we know that we have the Silicon Valley, we have the US, we have Europe as you know, as the epicenters of innovation and startup uh, ecosystems. But now do you, see, do you see a shift coming like more like coming towards Asia or more like a balance in the future? That's a tricky question. I think that um, um, I think I think, uh, and that's what, that's the reason I am here personally, is that I think that India is the next place where it will happen. And uh, we all saw how much uh, uh, China started to influence uh, globally when uh, China started. Uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm sure I'm getting more convinced for every every day that goes. I mean, look at. So I told you about all, all these uh, these unicorns uh, rising in in, uh, in India. I'm sure that this is this is a place that uh, has not been um, up there with the uh, Silicon Valley or uh, I mean the, the different contexts in Europe and and China for that case. Now this is the time, and uh, it's extremely exciting to to see. Uh, to see what is uh, going on here. Um, on, from my end, uh, from um, the Office of Science and Innovation that I'm heading, um, we're trying to, uh, we work as much as we can uh, today and trying to uh, reach agreements with different um, stakeholders in India so that it, to facilitate collaboration in, in different ways. Uh, for instance, um, collaboration that makes it easier for researcher and research groups from Sweden and India to visit e each other. So from a Swedish point of view, it's, I think it will be crucial to be here. To, and, and so we have to make it easier for Sw Swedes to go here. Uh, also um, on an innovation level, uh, we're trying to reach agreements that facilitates the matchmaking between um, Swedish and, uh, and Indian uh, innovators, investors, startups, uh, test beds, uh, uh, you know, you name it. Um, 
So um, the road ahead, I would say uh, Asia, uh, especially uh, India, is the place, uh, I, that's what I think, uh, is the place to be. And um, for us as a small country, uh, it's crucial to try to make everything as smooth and easy uh, as possible uh, to work on different um, questions together. And in doing that, I also believe that we uh, need to do more when it comes to uh, collaboration within the Nordic countries, for instance, but also within the e EU. Um, since I have uh, e uh, you here, uh, Samrat, uh, also, I mean, the, the European perspective is extremely crucial uh, here. Uh, also because India is such a big uh, country. So, yeah. 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 Thank you for that. And India is a big country. I am picking up your last word. And I also go back that you mentioned that you've been to recently to Bangalore. Uh, you're planning to go to Pune. So even despite the pandemic and despite you uh, coming in just less than one year, um, did you have the chance to travel? And of course you traveled already as a student, but now uh, recently, and what has been like so far the most memorable experience of you traveling? I, we know that you walk into doors when you are visiting on campus. You you arrive early and you take a round that I already have uh, understood. But just um, let us know like what, what has been so far the most memorable experience of your travels in India. Yeah, okay. I, I could uh, I could reply with a uh, quite a, a, a boring answer here because I, I truly believe I, I, I truly would say if I go to my heart I would definitely say that the, these visits that I started with or I mean professional imagine the professional visits they have been the most fun things I've done by far and I met so many interesting people uh, you know um, but if I when I am on vacation or when I visit other places, I've been, I've been uh, to Goa and seen that place. I've been to uh, uh, Shimla quite recently up north, uh, which was just uh, wonderful. You know, uh, that's a place I could definitely uh, live uh, for, for the rest of my life. I loved Shimla and they have really, really nice uh, hikes that you can take. Uh, I would definitely need, uh, want to, um, to explore, uh, explore more, but if I would have to, to mention one um, experience uh, that was most memorable, I think I would mention uh, a visit to Jim Corbett National Park. Um, uh, we went to, to Jim Corbett and, uh, and uh, went out trying to have a look at the tiger and uh, it, we, it took us three days but eventually we, we saw uh, four tigers and that was uh, uh, fantastic to see these wild animals in their uh, natural habitat. Uh, that was uh, just, uh, just wonderful. So that's, that's on the private you know, uh, part of uh, what I've done. Uh, I, I, I'm really curious to learn more about India and um, culture-wise, and, and with, meet with people and, and all that. But as I said in the beginning, uh, most memorable, uh, memorable, memorable experiences. I think actually, I would, I would have to say that all these meetings with the people I, uh, that I mentioned here in. in uh, uh, I won't go into names because, because uh, then I would miss. Uh, uh, out telling you about some of them, but uh, all these people I met at innovation clusters, at um, uh, yeah. departments, ministries, and um, the drive forward, you know, that's exactly what I'm looking for. If, if you want to see that development, you would see that um, uh, departments, ministries, they're almost fighting about who will do the best uh, delivery bill. De deliverable within this area, and that's exactly what I see at the moment. It's a hunger in the. Uh, if you're talking about tigers, it's such. It seems to be a hunger in in uh, among these people. They really, really want to to move ahead. So yeah, that's my response to that question, uh, Samrat. Uh, when it comes to memorable and, experiences. And the good news is, apparently, you are still around for some years, right? You just started. I will your... be. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah so this is good so you have uh, much more to to discover and find out but you said one thing uh, which actually leads me to my uh, next question was like there's a lot of things to learn for you and a lot of things to learn in india uh, so what would you say you were mentioning already that there are, you see similarities between swedish people and indian people you see that it's easy to connect uh, and uh, so now taking this question a bit larger uh, what do you think can uh, sweden learn from from india in your opinion I think uh, we, uh, that would be the, the exactly the same answer to that I would say when it comes to connecting with other countries. It's uh, um, in in the in this uh, approach uh, that we want to to learn and question and uh, you know uh, use the creativity. I think uh, India will provide lots and lots of best cases. So. Uh, Uh, that's where I think that we will um, uh, that we will find most uh, inspiration and learnings. Um, it when it comes to how you how India is organized in how it organizes its infrastructure, it's we, I don't think we can learn from, from that because it, the contexts are so so different. Uh, it's such a large uh, country this, and Sweden is such a small one. We have our own in, innovation system. Uh, Of course, it's interesting to see how uh, things are running here. Uh, and it, as I, uh, what I've seen is that it's India is is trying to organize this huge, huge, enormous body of innovation activities. Uh, so it, it it's more understandable for an outsider, and that's good for from us for, for us. So so in terms of that, of course, we can learn uh, how India is organized, but. Uh, the the most learning will be on uh, an organizational, on a company level, on an innovation uh, low level uh, uh, basis, uh, and that is best cases. Uh, learn that, uh, realize that there are so many different uh, uh, stakeholders and and possible um, collaborators here in India. So I would say that that's the thing that we need to learn. Uh, keep our eyes open and see what's going on uh, in this country. Great. Thank you, Per Arne. Um, I think we conclude our uh, conversation uh, soon and open up for uh, some questions from uh, the chat. But uh, my question to you is uh, what's next now? What are the next events you're organizing? Uh, you know, are there any bilateral calls coming up soon? Like, where should we where where uh, where should we put our eyes on? Like the radar. What's up next between Sweden and India? Okay, yeah. So uh, one way to do that is, of course, to follow us uh, on Twitter. It's a uh, it's it's a very good way to to see what's going on. Uh, it's by the way, it's Sweden OSI. Uh, 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 India or Delhi, I don't remember now, uh, but you'll find it. Uh, uh, Sweden, OSI, that's a good, and then you'll find it. Um, of course, um, I have to mention the, the uh, there is a big call on circular economy coming up, uh, could be uh, announced tomorrow, uh, where we have five different um, funding bodies in Sweden collaborating with four uh, funding bodies in India. It's a huge one. Uh, and which will cover uh, most areas, I would say, in the value chain of innovation and um, research and development. So that's one thing. We're uh, and um, me and my colleague Lena, we will actually go to Sweden. Uh, I will go uh, later on tonight. I will uh, uh, go to uh, out to the airport and fly back to Sweden. I will spend. Uh, we will spend one week there uh, to visit and meet with Swedish stakeholders. Uh, on Thursday next week, on the 12th, uh, we have an um, open seminar. Uh, you, you, you have to register for it, but you will find it, of course, in the, uh, on that Twitter account and other, uh, other places, um, information about that. Uh, and that's an opportunity for people that would, uh, if you're interested, to learn more about the different, uh, um, different uh, measures we take now uh, in the near future when it comes to uh, collaboration between Sweden and India. It's um, in Stockholm, so people can go and visit it in Stockholm, but it's also uh, virtual. So um, 
if you're interested, please uh, um, look it up. I'll, I'll put it up on the Twitter account again, and, and uh, if people are uh, interested, they can just connect to that. It's a lot about um, uh, connecting in, uh, innovation infrastructures. That's what we're working on today, and also on uh, researcher mobility. Uh, that's also important. So that's uh, yeah, that's some info. Um, thank you so much, Farhan. Uh, so it seems you are leaving tonight. Oh, that's of course. Uh, I'm very happy that we could catch you for uh, for this talk. Um, and um, and you will be back then. Uh, like you will stay over for the summer, or you will be back here. I'll be back here. I'll. I'll okay. uh, it's only for a week, and then. Um, uh, and then I'll be back here. Uh, we have plenty of things uh, still before summer holidays. Uh, it will be quite nice, though, to, to uh, go back to Sweden for at least a week now. Uh, in terms of the weather in Delhi has been uh, quite hot uh, the last few days. It was really nice to have some rain yesterday. It was good for everyone, I think. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to okay. uh, going. I'm also looking forward to come back in a week. Yeah, and and the the, the summer in in Sweden only starts in July, right? It's still uh, May. Yeah, still we <laughs> yeah we have summer for two or three days or something if you, if we're lucky. <laughs> right. Okay, um, let's uh, go a bit into the chat uh, box and see what questions uh, our uh, dear uh, audience has for Per Arne. Uh, I start with uh, Rajashree Saha. He's saying, I am uh, from Innovo Sense, a Sweden based health tech startup, now offices in India and the US. I would like to ask, what are the opportunities for collaboration in the healthcare, se healthcare sector? We would like to collaborate. Okay, so health uh, is definitely one area where we collaborate uh, already quite a lot. There is a, a, a health uh, innovation collaboration in Jodhpur, quite developed, uh, with uh, where AstraZeneca is also engaged. Uh, but this is an area where uh, we realize at um, at the Office of Science and Innovation that we could do a lot more, and. Um, uh, I mean, I was in Chandigarh two weeks ago and, and, and saw what they were doing at the innovation cluster up there. And there are other p uh, places, uh, Bhubaneshwar, that's the name of it, uh, on the East Coast is also a place where they do uh, interesting things. So uh, um, I, uh, I would say that it's definitely possible to, to collaborate within that field. There are a lot of things already going. Uh, so I, I suggest to you to have, um, the one that asked this question, to have a look at what's, uh, what information you can find on, um, for instance, Business Sweden's webpage and, and uh, go through them because they uh, are, of course, uh, uh, deeply involved in these kind of uh, collaborations between companies. <clears throat> yeah, so so maybe we can put that in the chat also, the, the different websites. Uh, uh, I see that uh, maybe Lina is also there. Maybe um, that could be a moment also to share the, the websites and the infos uh, on the chat. Oh, yeah, that would, um, be, yeah. It would be great. And also the Twitter account, if uh, Lina. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I would. Yeah. And another question is from Rianka Sharma. Um, she uh, um, asking, how is the theme accelerating India Sweden's green transition currently ramping? You were mentioning that, right? That there is a, a strategic partnership also, and uh, how is it right now, currently ramping? There is actually um, so uh, talking about Business Sweden. Uh, so Business Sweden leads uh, a lot of activities within uh, green transition. Uh, once again, I think uh, to, to, to get a really good update on that would be to contact them to see what's, uh, what they have in their pipeline. I was discussing together with uh, Business Sweden and with the consulate in Mumbai and the embassy here yesterday about this area that we uh, uh, need to do more things together on it uh, this fall. So uh, in terms of the status, uh, I would say that um, 
I, I think a lot of things will happen uh, here in India as well uh, from our side uh, when it comes to this. Um, so yeah, uh, see to that you keep yourself updated on, on what we're doing then I would say, uh, or uh, look into what Business Sweden is doing because this is one of their main objectives. It's also the same with the, um, with the health uh, uh, questions that I, mm -hmm. yeah, that yeah. we talked about earlier on. Uh, there are another question from Ashish Kumar. Uh, hi, great to participate in this event. I'm a scientific consultant at Karolinska Department of Clinical Sciences and Education. I'm interested to find more about existing or new programs expected in the area of human genomics and complex disease research. Thanks. Do okay. we have, have any that's, that's a niche uh, question. Uh, I yeah. suggest you, since you're in Stockholm, I suggest that we uh, we can meet and I can uh, I can hear more about uh, those questions when we uh, get to Stockholm next week. And maybe if you can. If you want to join the, the information meeting, perhaps, uh, or uh, otherwise, we can um, tell you more. Uh, I think that Lena is mm -hmm. also writing something about that. Uh, precision, yeah, precision medicine, of course, is something that is uh, a topic that will be um, uh, worked on with Vinova, I know, um, mm -hmm. during the fall. So, but uh, please, con let's connect uh, when, when I'm in Stockholm. Uh, it's, I think that needs, um, requires me to forward your question to some other stakeholders. And Peana, you just proved how you connect Sweden. You said we connect immediately and you immediately connected <laughs> and you immediately made up, uh, you already invited uh, uh, the gentleman for a, a meeting in Stockholm. That's really great yeah. to see live on, on, on the chat. Uh, another um, comment or a greeting is from Tanja Friedrichs. Ah. Former uh, science uh, counselor uh, at the EU delegation, a good colleague of ours. She's saying, uh, hello, Pearn, happy to see you and hear your enthusiasm for India. So, uh, yeah, so happy to, happy to have you here, Tanya. We're, uh, we're, keep, we're trying to keep up your, uh, uh, your culture within the, the group. So really nice to, to have you listening to us. And, and pierre is doing a really good job. But we, of course, we do miss uh, Tanya's presence. But uh, as oh, Brian we do. Said, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're yeah. always welcome to to come and visit, and uh, we'll take care of uh, everything if you if you come here again. Another question from uh, our uh, one of our attendees is: uh, I'm Dr. Ashish uh, K. Srivastav. Is there any possibility to collaborate on the bilateral project focusing on innovative and machine learning technology in agriculture? Is there something right now to actually? At? I think that that's an interesting one because I think I, I I'm not sure. Maybe Elena can check this while uh, while I'm talking. But I think that might be one of the areas uh, that uh, also PSA has uh, as one of the verticals, one of the themes that uh, um, that they try to um, push forward. Um, and in that sense, it definitely is easier to um, establish um, connections with the Swedish uh, stakeholders. Um, that's also something I would um, suggest that the, if she can, uh, uh, she could send me an email and, and I'll, I'll see what I can do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's take one, two more questions, Perne. Uh, what about university collaborations and what about funding opportunities for students like scholarships if they are interested to collaborate with Swedish universities if they want to go to study or do research in Sweden like uh, could you also like tell us a bit about that what are there any funding opportunities there I think we can do a lot more in this field and um, what we have done this uh, this uh, spring has been to uh, Initiated, we have initiated uh, uh, discussions between uh, a Swedish higher education uh, organization called Stint and uh, uh, Indian uh, called SERB. And uh, even though that's mm -hmm. on a, uh, maybe on a PhD level, but also master's level, uh, we, we believe that we will hopefully see um, um, some sort of uh, 
agreement between these two bodies and that's uh, to me that's the beginning of something uh, uh, otherwise uh, i know that there are also a lot of uh, swedish universities already here uh, collaborating in in, uh, in india uh, but um, this is an area that, where we want to uh, develop and do more in the future so but at the moment we have this uh, collaboration on the phd level and uh, which also includes uh, the master students. So, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. we will have information about that quite soon, actually. Okay. Oh, that's good to hear. So that means also to please, uh, for those who are interested in uh, uh, in fellowships or opportunities for higher education and research, uh, you know, stay tuned uh, uh, on, on, on the Sweden's uh, embassy's uh, websites and links, which we also have shared in the chat. Um, we are reaching the final hour, uh, the final minute, sorry, of the, of the hour. Uh, I think we, are on there, so we don't want to keep it too long because we know you have a flight tonight as well. But um, there is one guest, his name is Srinivas Kaveri, Dr. Srini Kaveri. He'd like to ask some illy questions, but he says, I have to rush for another meeting in three minutes, so all the best. So I'll take that. Uh, position of Srini now and ask you like one uh, last question, Pe Arne, because I know you are a big Arsenal fan, right? Yes. So now comes my question, Pe Arne. Will Arsenal, first two parts of the question, first part, will Arsenal qualify for the Champions League? And second, will Arsenal ever win the Premier League again? Tough one. Ah, no, it's a definite yes on both questions. That's an easy one. I thought you would would ask me something on uh, they they will they will qualify for the Champions League and we will uh, we will uh, win the Premier League again and hopefully also the Champions League one in a couple of years time. But my challenge when it comes to sports is that I have to learn more about cricket. I realize that reading the sports sections in the papers here are, are really uh, difficult otherwise i have to learn more about cricket so but yeah football is okay. in my heart <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, okay for you it of course as a big arsenal fan it's an easy question but uh, i agree with you on the champions league but on the premier league we can talk about it uh, next time when <laughs> we see each other more private let's talk. do that <laughs> okay let's do that. but uh, thank you so much per arne that was a real great pleasure, pleasure having you and uh, I think it was a very nice conversation and also the questions from the audience. Thank you so much to your audience for joining us. Um, wishing you a safe trip and come back soon, Perne. And uh, uh, hope to see you then uh, in person in, in the coming weeks. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.